Oh, joy. I never, never did good at kissing the rain. Oh, that just wasn't my thing. It sends chills up my spine every time I think of being Miss Captain Kiss A. Oh, my God. I can't handle that at all. But I tell you what. You know who I did enjoy? That just, it made me feel like I was having some Spumoni ice cream. That's the one with the chocolate and strawberries and that little green pistachio in the middle. I felt like Jasmine Crockett. Yes, that's what I felt like this week. With the bleach, blonde, bad, built, butch body. And that was her ride or die partner, AOC, coming to the rescue, baby girl. I just thought that that was a feel-good moment of the week. And you know what? All I could think about was one thing. When I looked over there at Marjorie Taylor Greene, all I could think about was biatch. But any hoo I would carry on. So, you know I was going to have somebody come approach me about the 34 count and how the system was rigged and they wanted to go on and on about the persecution of the predecessor. And I had to take a deep breath. I mean a real deep breath because I thought about Jonathan Capehart over there saying, look, it's only been 24 hours. Y'all need to chill. That's right. You need to chill. And Jonathan, you're absolutely right. But this is what I said to the person that brought that conversation to me. I said, did you look, go over there and did you see that interview with um, Shannon Sharp at Club Shay Shay with Cat Williams? And, ooh, they perked up and they said, yeah, I saw it about four times. And I say, you did? I say, so did you like it? Yeah, it brought 64 million views. I say, it did. I say, well, you know what? I got something that I I think you should look at. Because, you know, you seem to be a little bit off-key about, uh, about the indictment there. Maybe if you had a little bit more information, uh, the facts, then it would help you make a better decision. So you need to go to pbs.org, Frontline, for Democracy on Trial. That's right, the full documentary. I'm going to say it again. Go to pbs.org, Frontline, Democracy on Trial, the full documentary. And you know what? I think it's been up for like maybe four months, and it only got 10 million views. Just think, if it had got 64 million views, Ooh, it would be so many people well-informed because, see, you over there being Captain Applehead, and I see where your priorities lie. You over there concerned about uh, Hollywood and their crew, and they don't make the laws. But they do have problems over there, and I get it. But you know what? You need to stay focused like the jury was staying focused when they handed down that 34-count uh, that thirty-four count indictment on the predecessor, yes, the one that you thought was rigged. And how did we go from deciding that even after you have all that facts and all the all the information that was laid out, that Alvin Braggs laid out his 18, how could you even think that this man could not be indicted on all that documentation and cooperation? And then they still had a juju Wham, wham, full of uh, more information. Probably st stuff still out there in Mar-a-Lago stuffed in the toilet or in a tissue box somewhere. But but I just can't believe that you could stand here and tell me that you would vote. You would actually vote for this person that you said you don't even like. And this would be good for democracy. No, I'm going to say it one more time. PBS.org, Frontline, Democracy on Trial, full documentary. Go watch it. Watch it three or four times. Tell your friends about it. We hope that it gets 64 million views because that's 
where we need to be looking at that information right there because a lot of people have fought really hard to get where we are for to hold the predecessor for accountability and going forward moving forward if we can move forward because if he gets sent we won't be moving forward we will not be moving forward and I, what I don't understand is how how do you have, or that person that was talking to me, have that mentality of saying that this is best for our country when you don't have all the facts? You could have told me you was looking at um, space goals or anything. You, I, I could accept it that, but you're not looking at the information. You're not looking at how did we get here and how far that we got to go from, like Jonathan uh, Kapor said, 24 hours. It's just been 24 hours. And you're making this decision. My decision was based off of not just the 34 count. It's what just living the life of looking at that person and looking at uh what he, what he's been doing over the years how can you get how can you live a life and not be held accountable for any of your actions how can you run a country if you if you don't have your head in the right place and you're out there spitting out negative uh things about the the judge, the jurors, uh, it, the list goes on and on. How could you even consider this person uh, to run the country when they've constantly got to be given things to boost their morale, to kick them off, and the days that they're not boosted, then I guess we're going to all be taking pills or running around finding things to lift them up because it's all about them. It's not about us. And they've moved from being all the different types of uh, showing, displaying all the different types of narcissistic behavior. Now they moved to being a martyr. Wherever, wherever the supply is, that's what they're going to be. There's, they're going to be a chameleon and they got to uh, bring in more people to say, oh, poor me. You know, I, well, I don't want to say that on the cross, but uh, I made these sacrifices for you guys. Didn't anybody learn anything from Michael Cohen? And speaking of Michael Cohen, shout out to him and Stormy Daniels. Because so many people put these two people down and they have made a 360 turn and they're, they're handling their business. Absolutely. And I just tried to think in my mind about uh, the predecessor's attorney thinking about where was his mind at when he was over there shooting his shot at Cohen when now he's in the same place that Cohen was some years ago. And how was it possible that he let once again the predecessor micromanage that trial because you know whatever happens it's going to be their fault they screwed it up that's going to be it in the end but i just wanted to say that because you know uh going back and looking at all the information because like i say i i need information i need the facts and that's kind of where i am uh I, I, I looked at Shay Shay too. I enjoyed it. But in the meantime, I did look at the PBS.org uh, documentary uh, more than I did Club Shay Shay. Yes, I did. And I went back over it and over it. And I thought, ooh, uh, this is really amazing. This is really, that's, that's a lot of information. And a lot of people are fighting for our democracy while they over there in Holly, Hollywood with people that are not law, lawmakers and making these kind of decisions on 
we'll we'll go with somebody that's uh, that lies all the time. We'll go with the person that we know that will give us money for tax breaks. We'll go with the person that that if we're not on his side, then we know what's going to happen to us because look what Nikki Haley just did. That was crazy. But, you know, Nikki doesn't is very transactional and the bottom line is without integrity. And so have a lot of the people that's been walking around uh calling out the predecessor uh calling out the predecessor saying that he would be good for the nation. No. Uh no. Mm-mm. Uh that's my feelings. And shout out to the young Turks. Uh keep going to the grindstone because I watch you guys too. So and you give out a lot of good information. I over there looking at Midas Touch and uh Glenn Kirshner. Uh, I'm over there looking at what Danny Savalas is saying on uh, MSNBC with uh Mika and Joe and it is a marathon. This has been a long haul and it's gonna be a much longer haul and we got a lot but after that after that after the bald faced lies that's been told I don't understand how people are even considering putting somebody like that back into office. That's that's really that's amazing because if you lie to me, I'm not trying to trust you. And do you know once trust is uh, once trust is gone, it's really really hard to get back. Cause every time you open your mouth, I think a lie is gonna come out. And I'm still looking at looking at you as a, a convicted felon. All the other convictions that you had, uh, how you feel about women. That's, I, no, 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 the vote is no. And that's, that's me saying that. That's, that's me saying after everything that has been put out there, if you want to think it's rigged, you know, fine. If you want to vote for that person, that's, that's, that's you, fine. But all the money. And once again, all the money that you accumulate, you're not going to have your freedom. And democracy ranks over what somebody can say that they're going to micromanage your life. And even if they're asked to get out of office, they're not going to leave. We saw what happened the last time. The same thing will happen again. So all the people like Patrick Bet Davis and um, other people that have their platforms, and that's their platform, that think that he would be the best person for them, go for it. But at the end of the day, Think about this. How much control are you going to have over this person whose attorneys didn't have control to keep him from being quiet and getting himself convicted? How much control do you think you're going to have? You're not. Because if, if he goes into office and he was convicted by his own words and he he ran he and you saw it on the the television he said he, he took a great part in his own trial no he ran it like he saw fit he ran it like he saw fit just like he would run this nation in the same way you wouldn't have a say his attorneys probably glad that this case is over so they can go back to doing whatever they was doing because 
they could have a say. And it, it, it messed up their reputation. People were out there speaking, and they be have talking about, you know, Tom, that she was a pretty good lawyer. Well, the other lady, she was pretty good. But when they got on that team, they didn't look so good. They didn't look good at all. But I'm going to get off of here because I got more research to do, more looking at factual information and like I said, it is a marathon. And we need to switch gears, Savannah. We do really need to switch gears. And Glenn Kirshner, uh, I'm listening. I hear your voice. And I really appreciate the information that you're putting out there, putting out on uh, the legal breakdown. Brian Taylor Cohen, I enjoy your information. Um, on on your platform, I'm glad that there's people out here using their platforms for for d democracy. I love listening to Neil Katyal, um, on with that you know he's on several shows, and I like hearing his spin. And it's been just a, really a learning experience for me, and I'm enjoying. I'm I'm really enjoying all of it. Uh, the part I'm not enjoying is the part that uh, that the predecessor is out there on the on, on his platform uh, doing what he does best and uh, saying negative things and wearing down um, the democracy uh, in our country I I mean it's just it's really a shame but on that note, I'm going to go because there's more programs to look at, more people's voices I need to hear. Um, I know that I got to go over there and listen to Lisa Rubin and uh, see what she's got up. Um, Chris Hayes, I want to let you know that, yes, I'm listening to Brass Tax. I'm hearing it all. I'm taking it all in. And on that note, I'm going to get out of here because there's so much more to listen to. Uh, and like I say, we'll be listening about this 34 count for a minute. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take Jonathan Capehart's advice and I'm going to chill. I'm going to process this information and, I, uh, and I'm waiting to see how Fonnie Willis' uh, trial come out and uh, Jack Smith trial and the, the other trials come out. So uh, I'm, I'm excited and I'm looking forward for our democracy to not be on trial, but for our democracy to be um, free for us to be a free nation and not focus on so much of the money aspect. Yes, we do need money. Granted, I get it. But the bottom line is we kind of got to look at a bigger picture and we got to start putting, getting more information and seeing how we arrived at getting a conviction for a person that has never had to take responsibility for anything. And I'm still trying to figure out how, how do you walk through life like that? But, but any hoo hoo, I'm going to go and I'm going to keep reading, keep watching, keep listening keep my ears open, eyes wide open, and because I don't want to shut my eyes. And there you have it. So I will be back. And thank you guys for being the great contributors that you are. Keep the great fight up. And maybe I'll go viral the next time. <laughs> Just kidding. But I will be listening for those viral moments. And keep using those platforms for democracy. 
our democracy. Keep your heads up. Move forward. Carry on. And as Ari would say, oops, there it is. <laughs>